Yeah, I couldn't make up my mind what what picture to use as the yeah. No talk, really, yeah, would it kept changing? And yet, no. I was like, but that's not right. I'm just, no, 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 it's not working. Is that olive green? I don't have any olive. Is what olive green? This is, this is a black background. It might just be that it's very bad lighting. And my hair's gone all weird. I had it in a sort of ponytail all day when it was wet. And now it's gone very strange indeed. Yes, you can see and hear me now because I was just trying to pose. I was, I was, I hadn't started yet. That's what it is. I hadn't started yet. I was trying to pose. Anyway, I've done my census today. If you're in Britain, you're supposed to do your census today. Otherwise, you'll get hit with a thousand pounds worth of fine. It's just very strange. I can't seem to get this angle right. Oh, that was just my hand there. A thousand pounds worth of fine, which is quite a lot of money if you haven't got it. If you've got it, then it's not much. So obviously, if you're very rich, a thousand pounds is nothing. But if you're not very rich, so I've got my pyjama bottoms on. It's just not working really, is it? It's just all over the place. Just anyway, I filled in my census today. So I can't remember what I put because I'd already actually filled it in weeks ago. Because you already got it online. Most people were doing it online. You could request... A paper one but um, I did it online and uh, I can't remember what I put in it but I put lots of stuff and I found out today that you could write yes it should be percentage of income it should be but it's not I found out today that you can put what languages you speak and I'm like did I do that I can't remember because I can speak a little bit of Welsh which I couldn't ten years ago when was the last time the census came not even a bit but I could speak a little bit of French and a tiny bit of Portuguese now, which I couldn't speak 10 years ago. I could speak a little bit less French, less, yeah. So I, I speak more, I'm, I'm a linguist now. Lots and lots of, lots and lots, and you could put that on the uh, census. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> different issue. Uh, no, yes, look, the thing that I made last week, it's drying. Look at that. What do they do with this data? Well, they use it to, to, to work out what's, uh, what um, services and what help they need and how much of certain things. There's my little, isn't it good? I need to paint that. I need to get some paint online. I'm thinking of getting some more clay, but I'm looking at it and I don't really know what sort to get. There's a lot of different air drawing clays. Mm. So yeah, the, the census is used to work out if, uh, well, so there was a sort of advert on the television I, just before, because I, I was watching this thing about musicals, Robert Brinder one, which is probably a spoiler if you haven't seen it yet. But I don't care. Um, so it, it's over now. It's not really the sort of thing that's worth watching again. If you haven't seen it, uh, if you're watching this instead of that, then you probably didn't care about it. Anyway, I was watching this thing about musicals and there was a thing about the, the census. So some people, obviously, it's nearly the end of the day, haven't filled it in yet. But there was certainly somebody speaking in Welsh talking about yaith which is the language. Now that's made me think, oh yeah, I should have probably said that I can speak a bit of Welsh now so that they put more, because there was a thing this week, R Jacob Rees-Mogg, I'm saying Robert Rees, Jake, don't know. Jacob Rees-Mogg said uh, that Welsh was a foreign language like Latin or something. And like, well, some people are defending him and saying, oh yes, well he was defending the fact that people should be able to speak a little bit, a tiny bit of foreign languages like Latin and Welsh. And obviously Welsh and, and Scots, um, Gaelic and Gaelic, Scots Ga Gaelic and Gaelic, anyway, Gaelic and Gaelic and, and, and Cornish even, um, Koenig is it, and, uh, and Welsh are actually not foreign languages, there's other foreign languages also, I should, they're not apparently allowed to be spoken in the House of Lords and House of Commons because they don't have enough budget, this is the actual things they've said, they don't have enough budget to provide translation. I mean, there's quite a lot of people that speak these languages in there. So if they just bung some of the MPs and a bit extra money to do the translation, then they hello Scott. Then they could have done that. That's ridiculous. This is a problem. I think this is the same excuse they gave for not giving British Sign Language translation for all the Corona briefing virus uh, thingies last year because um, they said that the, they said that they didn't have. Um, the enough money for it which is ridiculous because in the welsh one they did and in the scottish one they had and welsh and scotland are smaller nations than england and and it's a whole nation and they should have the budget and it's ridiculous that they don't and also uh, obviously we're not part of the european union anymore 
Um, but um, which is a shame, a terrible shame. A lot of people put European on the census, apparently. And um, I think I put Welsh, British and European. So I thought, get it all in so that people know. There wasn't really much option. This apparently said, anyway, yes, exactly. They've spent like 37 billion on a, a test and trace that didn't work. And yet they can't afford some translators. And apparently this, this uh, Welsh MP, uh, Ply Cymru MP, was just wishing, in Irish and um, Welsh, she was just wishing some, some people a happy St. Patrick's Day in two languages. And that was too much for them to cope with. It's like, really? Really? I, I think they should also provide um, some of the other languages that a lot of people speak, you know, um, Hindi and um, uh, what else, uh, Urdu, and lots of different languages. They should have translators, and you should have the option to speak all these things, as well as Welsh and Gaelic and Gaelic. And and, and I don't think that many people speak um, Cornish. I know that some person was stopped from um, doing their, their wedding vows in Cornish the other week. It's like, what? Anyway, census. Maybe if everyone says in the census, I speak loads of Cornish, then then that facility will be available. It's it's ridiculous, to be honest. Ridiculous! Ridiculous. So I think that... So that may be something about the census that will help, if people put that... that Somebody on the advert said that, I want more cycle lanes. That was like, was there an option to say that? But there was, because it said, if you work, what? how do you go to work at the moment? And there was an option to put cycling or walking... I put walking because that's what I do. But also, it's like if you work at a different job, but you've worked at a job during this year that's different, then just put the job you've worked at this year, even if it's different than what you used. It's not really a very because if you're doing something that you wouldn't normally do that you're doing at the moment, or doing nothing and you normally would, then it's not really very helpful for knowing future planning unless this goes on for a very long time, which is actually possible. Might go on forever and ever 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 and ever. And there was also options for um, for identity and stuff like that. All the all the identities that you are, but not that much. And also there wasn't. It's like a lot of people have got more than one job. There wasn't really an option to say this isn't my only job. So I sort of wrote it in, going, "This is very reductive. I actually do these other things as well." And then I ran out of space. I was like, "Oh, now I have to." There. So I wanted future generations to know that they've got more than one job. It's not necessarily your career what your job is either. I'm doing this thing at the moment, but it's not necessarily what I call myself or what I am. This is not the whole of me. There is more to me than this. So I put that. And um, and so future generations will go, well, she's being a bit awkward. Yes. This person's being very awkward. This person's being very awkward. So I put just loads of stuff. This person's being awkward. Mm. So I think there was an option for other identity as well, you know, the, the gender identity and stuff like that. So people can say specifically there's a writing. And uh, I think in 20... When was it? 2001, lots of people said that they were Jedi Masters. And I made light of this somewhere on Facebook, and people were like, I really am genuinely a, gen a, genuinely a Jedi. How dare you make fun of us genuine Jedi? So I might have to be very careful, because apparently some people do consider themselves real Jedi, so good on you and everything. But I think uh, more people are going to say no religion this year, somehow, I think. And probably not that many people. Still, maybe some people still are advocates of the force it's not called the force anymore what's it called there's something else somebody, somebody was saying in the mandalorian there's another oh i don't know because i didn't see the mandalorian because i don't have disney plus but whatever so there's another word for the force so something to do with kind of uh, itchy in here because it's very dusty i don't come in here except to make these films these films <laughs> that's a very glorified way of saying talking at you yeah so, yeah, you genuinely are, are you okay? Yeah, so you can, there was an option to fill in who you are and what you believe in and who you consider yourself to be and national identity and gender identity and blah, 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 and identity. 
So, oh, that's making light of it. That sounds like I'm very dismissive, dismissive of that. Dismissive. I wasn't dismissive. I think it's genuinely important to let people know and posterity know. Because I've done a lot of family history. And you look at the censuses from the past. I think the 2000... The 1921 one is not available till next year, even though it's so... The, the way that it gets shown, it's like I think they're collating it. So at the end of this year, you can see the 20, the 19, oh, I lost track of the dates, the 1921, which is 100 years and a, a year next year. So I can only go as far as the 1911 census to, if you didn't do family history. The 1911 was quite good because you got to see um, where people lived and when they got married, if they got married and, and what their um, circumstances were generally. And also what their first language was. So that was instructive. Some of the other ones before are a bit vague. The 1841, it's just completely vague. because it does. It's just like, these people lived in this house. How are they related? Yeah. And where are they from? Yeah. Are they from this person, place where they were living? Yeah, probably. Where? Well, where else would they have been? Somewhere else. Somewhere. It's very vague. Very, very vague, the 1841. The 1831 didn't even mention the people that lived in that. It's just like, is this a house? Yes, it's a house. Is this a, a, a barn? Yes, it's a barn. And that was it, really. It was, there wasn't very much to see. I don't think they even published what the details of the 1831 one were. 1851 was slightly more useful. 1861, yeah. To 1871, yeah. 1881 is the one that I've looked at the most because on Ancestry that was free to see and you can get a load of details out of that, whereas the other ones you have to pay and I didn't want to. I did have a, a, a I did have a, uh, I want to say prescription, that's not it, a subscription to it a couple of times, but then when the subscription ran out, they, you know, even though you've downloaded stuff and you've sort of paid for seeing them, they don't let you see them anymore, but the 1881 one, you can still see, so that's the one that I've seen, and I think also the, the 1891, no, 1890 American one, I think one of those is also available to see properly, and all the others are all because it's uh, on the zero years in America on the one years in Britain I don't know what other countries do censuses because I haven't really looked through it anyway how can we increase the yes Bohem how how can we yes mm. a up to you too yeah um how can we increase diversity just by being us that's how we increase diversity just by all working together and 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 making sure that everybody's represented yeah, and that's really what a census is about. A lot of people are like, oh, they get my information. It's like, yeah, I think it's important for posterity. So somebody said that this is the last one that they're going to do because they're going to somehow track people's information in other ways. But I think it's very important to have a little sort of, this is what happened here, now. Um, and and also make sure, collate the, the information and make sure it's, it's working. So you can collate it in another way but I think it's important to, to do every to take stock of the situation to see whether things have changed you know, well we think that there's this many people that ha are doing this many things and speak these languages and identify as these people and have this religion and that's what we think and then every 10 years you go oh no we were completely wrong that's not what the case is at all oh everybody's a dead I know what then everybody stop being a Jedi. That is going to look very interesting in history. It's like, why was everybody a Jedi? And then they stopped being a Jedi. That's just... But as I said, many people were very, very angry when I said that maybe that you weren't... That maybe they weren't genuinely Jedi. But, oh no, they said, we genuinely are. So, all right. You have to make sure that the Jedi are represented, obviously. If you want to be, then that's fine. But there's other, other more serious things that, you know, you probably do need more funding for. And I'm not sure that the funding's available for, for the Jedi. I mean, I don't want to be discriminatory against Jedi, but, you know, it's a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Maybe you'd, you, you had more of a... But, you know, there's only a couple of you left, isn't there? 
I seem fidgety. It's because I'm trying to get into camera. It's just like it's all it's all a bit weird. I'm not fidgety. It's just that I'm aware that most of the <laughs> most of the camera is taken up by my. Uh, I think what it is is I had a box there. Yeah, that's what it is. It's lower down than it was, and so it's made me look very ooh, very strange. There, the angles are all wrong. That's what it is. That's better better it was just it was all legs and no upper body yeah and i couldn't work out what it was what's wrong with that oh yes that's it yes well i don't know star wars in star wars it's well, it's not i think it's good yes yeah, very good i'm not going to say anything critis critical about anything or anyone because people get upset when you do that yeah this is better it's not all me it's not all my knees that was why I was fidgety. I can calm down now. I'm not going to be fidgety. I was just trying to get into shot. So, yeah, the census. Hmm. And uh, we don't have census takers coming anymore to partake of our liver and fava beans with us. Oh, while we're, while we're here. Yeah, really. Possibly, possibly Philip. But, you know, I'm not going to comment on other people's dialogue writing skills. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know whether anybody knows what sort of paint I need for this. I know some of the other, I've seen some metallic paint that some people are going to be using. Not me, because I haven't got access to it. But my little lump of clay that I saved, it's come out quite well. But I need to paint this. I need to paint it with some paint that I can, so I'm going to buy some. If anybody's got any suggestions what sort of paint that I can use for Edra and Clay. Because I did say that I was making, I made ages ago some uh, little, oh, I'll show you them. There were some, um, the light's going to go, ooh, that was very spooky, wasn't it? That was all shadows and, ah, scary. Did you see that? <laughs> That's made me think of this. Did you see that um, Japanese biker guy that had photoshopped his face to look like a, like a young girl so that he could get, because he didn't think anybody would like him talking about biking so he pretended to be somebody that he wasn't and then when he revealed himself everybody he's like oh yes i'm a 50 year old japanese biker guy i'm not really i was just uh, looking for these things i'm gonna show you the things that i made ages ago do, 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 do. Yes, yeah, so I ages ago made these air dry, I told about, I said about them, um, air drying clay things. I've got drew. I didn't make this, that's quite nice, isn't it? Though? Well, did I make that? Actually, now I come to look a bit. I didn't, I don't think I made that. I think somebody else made that and I just bought it, but it's nice, isn't it? That's just, I did make a string of pearls, I think, or something. Did I make that? I don't know, I can't, I can't see that I did. Yeah, so this is, didn't make that, somebody gave me that, didn't make that, somebody gave me that, somebody went to a Buddhist temple and got me that, that's nice isn't it, now these, nope, right, so these, so well, these are made of air drying clay, and I, I put these symbols on them, made them ages ago, I didn't make that, that's not mine, but all these others, 10 or 11, some of these, they're all, so what I painted these with, well that's paint, that's silver paint, and that is, I think, acrylic and sort of gold paint, but I, I used to varnish them, some clear nail varnish, and I used a mixture of gold paint and nail varnish, this red nail varnish, and I varnished them with, yeah, I could varnish it, I, I varnished them, the thing is, when I first made these I varnished them with um, some varnish that was supposed supposed to be for these sort of things and um, for this air drain clay and I varnished them all and then it sort of stuck when you put it near your skin it just stuck on so that was no good so that's why I use clear nail varnish because that is safe for your skin and nails because obviously it's gone so it's fine and it doesn't tend to react and it doesn't go sticky and it's much better much better so that's what I used for those so maybe I can I just had a load of nail varnish at the time for some reason I was going through I used to really I mean when I was about 10 or 11 12 13 I used to really like nail varnish so I used to go there there was a little in Cumbra which is a town near my uh, parents house there was a um well I was born near Cumbra there was a little shop 
can't remember what it was called. There was a little shop where there's like a bank and a library there now that, that had like uh, bargain goods. And I used to, every time I go down, I would go there and I would buy some more nail varnish and I would use that. And then I, I had it all left over for years afterwards. So many years later, I still had all this nail varnish and I used that. So uh, yeah, so I think it's quite nice. So some of them are sort of moulded on like that. Yeah, acrylic works really well, but you've got to cover it up because the acrylic will flake off. So you do have to varnish it. So I moulded that one while it was still being... But I would just, most of them, I would sand them down afterwards. So there'd be dust everywhere. And then I would use this um, darning needle thing that I brought that had a sort of edge on it. And I would make these, that's a rune. And that's a, that's a rune. And that's, um, that's some sort of... Can you see that? I don't know, some sort of cross symbol. These are just holes, they don't mean anything. But I would make, yeah, there's a um, symbol. I think that's, is that Saturn or something like that? It's a planet symbol, there's another room. So I'd make little, all sorts of symbols. Like, I had fun with these, really. And I would carve, th these are my least elaborate ones. These are the ones that didn't, because I sold a lot of them. These are the ones that nobody wanted, basically. These are the ones that were the least successful. So you have to just take my word for it that there were some stunning ones, stunning ones. This, it's the air drying clay. So um, it doesn't, you don't need to fire it. You just, I just, you know, spent ages and ages gently cut. I mean, I could have made more effort to make them nice and flat before I didn't really think about that before I made them dry, but they, they would dry out and then I would sand them down and, um, and then I would carve them and then I would paint them. And there was a lot of work went into these. A lot of work. And it doesn't really show because these are my least successful. Anyways, there's just enough to say that I, I know that I can use nail varnish, but I have to buy that really. But um, maybe acrylic. I'm going to think about it. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Cheap nail varnish. I haven't got any left. I've got a load of like Halloween makeup, but I don't think that would work on it. Anyway, the census, yes, I filled that in, so I'm not gonna be fined any money at all. And I filled it in as accurately as I could. And so I think it's very important so that everybody knows in the future that um, if anybody is researching me, because I'm gonna be so amazingly famous and everything, then, um, then they will see all the details about me. And they'll go, oh, that's what that person was like, is it? Well, never. I wouldn't have believed it. Mm. And that's what they were doing as a job. Seriously? Yes. Anyway, that's, uh, maybe I, was, I used acrylic for this. Did I use acrylic? No, poster paint. I can't remember what I used for any of these things. Oh, uh, don't, yeah, you give the address that you use. You know, you don't fire this. It's not. It's air drying. You don't. You don't need a glaze for it. You don't buy it because it's already dry, really. It's um, and I don't have a kiln, so I I'm not going to use the clay that you need a kiln for because I don't have one, and so that's that done. But yeah, if it was real clay and I had a kiln, my dad was an art teacher and he used to, he said, well, this is the thing he said. That one of the, he used to, I mean, I think he's got part of his degree was in ceramics. Um, but he said he was never good at it, but he was all right at it. But he wasn't very good at telling other people what to do with the clay, he said. And that the worst time he got all these amazing, he, he made them the, he got his pupil students to, to make these things. And they were amazing. And he put them all on one side to dry before he put them in the kiln. And then when he came back the next day, somebody had smashed them all up. So that was yeah, so that is something that can happen before it's dry. That's not great, really. So fortunately, I left these here and nobody smashed them up because there was nobody to smash them up because there was just me. La 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 la. I'm gonna. Ma I think I will buy some more clay because I did enjoy making that. I don't know what it's for. I, I think I do need to sand it down because it's a little bit lumpy. But if I sand it down, then that will fit quite well. It balances anyway. But you can see there's a sort of gap in it. A bit better on that side. And it's, oh, what can I keep in that? I don't know. I found an earring on the floor that was all bent up. That's not made of gold, but I'm going to pretend it is. Ah! I just dropped it. Ah. Just dropped it and chipped its ear. No, it's fine. It's cool. I'll just sand it down. That's the trouble. Uh, yeah. 
not quite dry as yet. It's, that's the trouble as well, it takes a long time. So yeah, that's really all I've done this week is nothing. I filled in my senses and I actually did that weeks ago. Mm, oh, okay. Overpainted glaze, that's something to that's something to use maybe. Oh yeah, it's everybody's birthday this time. It's my birthday soon. And Facebook is announcing that uh, I should put some sort of, uh, you know, they say, hey, you should set up a thing where people give donations in your name. It's like, no, because if you want to give donations, then give donations. Don't say this in my name. What's the good in that? Just give donations if you want them. Anyway, no, what really is reminding you that it's my birthday. I don't really want it to be my birthday because I'm not that fond of birthdays because it's a reminder that you're ever closer to another. It's gone. Yeah, it's life is short and I, I feel like I want to be a more, I feel like I want to still be alive and, and really alert when the census is released in a hundred years time. Obviously I'll be very old then and I probably won't be alive but maybe I will be. Maybe I am immortal. Maybe. Ever youthful. Who knows? Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yes, I can buy some clay. Thank you very much, Darth Cynical. That was very generous. Yes, my clay fund. Yes, <laughs> don't give donations to other people. Give donations to my clay, my special clay of which I can make things. Mmm, that's worth £3.61, it says, which is the same as $5. So now I know what the exchange rate is. That's good. That should be enough for some clay. Yeah, I'll get some clay. An awesome paint to paint the clay. Yeah, and maybe I'll make it, oh, it has chipped. I'm definitely gonna, it's fine, I'm just gonna sand it down. So I'll just make some more, I'll just make some more. And maybe I'll make a video of me making something out of clay. If anybody wants to um, suggest what I should make out of clay, that's great. Nothing that is inappropriate, obviously. Something that's, that's good to, visually good, good, it's very subjective, and that I can make, that I'm capable of making. Hmm. So I've got another gig this week on Wednesday. That's at uh, Pear Shaped, Pear Shaped in Dystopia. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put another video in and do a bit of live. So I have to write that. I haven't, I haven't written it yet. I'm going to have to write it. I've got to think what video. I think it's a video that I will have already have made. But which one? I don't know. Any suggestions about short videos that other people might like to see that aren't as aren't as watched as they should be? Yeah, I'll submit that. One, it has to, you know, pretty short. Anyone, any videos that are short and funny and appropriate for a comedy gig online. I already did a few for them and now I've run out of things. I've only got like 2,000 videos. So there's only about four that are worth watching. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> you do try. Yeah. The cookie, yeah, cooking video on roasted okra, yeah, that would be good. But I'm, I'm talking about one that I've already done that I can just send them so I don't have to make any because I'm a busy in between now and Wednesday. So I'm gonna, I mean, I'll write my live set, but then I've got a little video that I'm gonna put, and I don't really know which one to put in. Yeah, I'm a bit fidgety today, aren't I? I think it's just because I need, a, I need some water. I'm dehydrated. That's probably what it is dehydrated uh, so thank you very much much Darth cynical the pumpkin ones yeah the pumpkin ones I think because I already put a vegetable one I don't want to do any more vegetable ones that's um yeah I've over overdone the vegetable ones overdone vegetables it's about 40 of them isn't they mm, swimming pool clean okay sure yeah thank you Darth cynical you're welcome for being welcome for well, yeah also yeah, thank you for giving that me the, yeah, the clay money, pin money for my pin box. That's what I can put in it, pins. It's nearly, is that big enough for pins? I don't really use pins, but maybe. Oh, all right then. Well, that's been half an hour of me. And I did say that I was going to phone my mum and message her because she messaged me just before this. And I said, no, I'm watching something. I was watching the, the musical thing. And then I'll phone you, message phone you after I've done my live stream which is the most important thing. So you take priority over my mother, I hope. You're very happy about that. Not really, obviously I like my mother and obviously uh, she takes priority, but I, I, 
I, I did this first because it's standing, a standing meeting, meeting, standing appointment, that's it. Anyway, thank you very much. I will see you soon. Well, I won't see you. You'll see me. I'll see your quotes and quotes. I don't know what's up with me. I, I will see your comments. That's it. Not quite. You can put quotes if you want. Shakespeare quotes. Ah. Oh. Is this a dagger? Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yes, bye bye. You're very much welcome. You're bye bye bye. Walala. Yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.